Nagbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today. Ako po si G. Tonji. Sa panahon po ngayon, ang terorismo ay isang bahagi na ng ating pamumuhay. Ngunit papano kapag ang sarili mong kapwang Pilipino ay sudyang gumagamit ng kanilang lakas para manakot at manakit? Ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng salitang aktabista sa panahon ngayon? Maririnig niyo po ang isang totoong pangyayari ngayong araw na ito na hindi kapani-paniwala. Pero kailangan natin pakinggan ang kanyang karanasan upang maintindihan natin kung bakit napaka-importante po sa ating mga Pilipino na namumuhay dito sa Amerika na magsalita para magkaroon ng hustisya sa mga nangyayari sa ating bansa. I'd like to acknowledge the help of the organization Bayan USA for bringing to Kababayan today Melissa Rojas. Hello, Melissa. Hi, G. Thank you for having me here today. Thank you for being here. Uh, I know it's very difficult to talk about, but it's important that we share your story with our Kababayans because when I heard about your story, I could not believe it. Tell us about your experience. What happened to you? Well, I was in the Philippines doing uh, health care surveys. I do health care missions in the Philippines to provide relief to communities and bringing in doctors together to provide medical services. And it was on such a, um, a trip in um, a town called La Paz, Tarlac, when on May 19, 2009, um, I was abducted by the elements of the Philippine military. We were staying at a house and we were forced out of the house, forced into a van, and brought to what I believe to be Fort Magsaysay in Nueva Ecija in the Philippines. How many of you were abducted? Mm -hmm. There were uh, three of us. We were all health workers. And when we got to the military camp, I was separated from them. And so um, I didn't know what was happening. I was held in solitary confinement. Um, and I was tortured for six days there in the military camp. And so I had blindfolds on and I was handcuffed, my hands to my back during the whole time. Did they explain to you what was going on, why you were being held, why you were abducted? Well, I, I kept saying my name and that I was an activist in an area, but they were accusing me of being uh, a member of the New People's Army, which is a revolutionary group, armed group in the Philippines. And um, they were trying to force me to, for, to sign papers saying that I surrendered as a rebel. Um, but I refused because I knew that that wasn't true and that I was doing health work in that community. And so I just kept my, saying my name, asked for my right to see a lawyer, but of course they wouldn't listen to me. They just reacted with more interrogations and more violence. Do you understand Tagalog, Melissa? I do. So were they addressing you in Tagalog or in English? Yes, were they, they were addressing me in Tagalog. And so I was also answering that um, pangalan ko ay Melissa Rojas, aktivista po ako. And that's all I kept saying. I want to write to a lawyer. During those six days, recount to us what was going through mm -hmm. your head. Well, I was, of course, terrified because they, you know, they ha hold you in this place that I, um, I didn't know where they were taking me. I didn't know how long, and I really thought that I was going to die because they threatened me multiple times, that they were going to kill me, that they were going to kill my family, and then they just, um, you know, sleep deprivation. I was hardly able to to really move um, in that cell that they put me in and um, I really thought that I was I wasn't gonna come out of it alive my question is why would you keep repeating that you were an activist why was this important to say mm -hmm. at this time because the military is part of the government so yes. to call yourself an activist mm -hmm. I would believe would place you in a predicament where they have authority to question you but not torture you. Mm -hmm. So why was this important for you to relate to them? Yeah, well, it was important for me because they were trying to, well, torture is torture no matter who you are. And it was very, um, it was very important for me to tell them that the work that I was doing was medical work 
and that um, it was legitimate work. But I knew that reasoning with someone who was hitting you, who was torturing you, was very difficult. And because I have done um, human rights work in the past, I also am very aware that the military often tries to label um, human rights activists or regular activists as members, trying to connect them to be members of the Communist Party of the Philippines and these armed groups. This happened six years ago, mga kababayan, and until today, there is no justice for Melissa Rojas. When we return here on Kababayan Today, she will be reading an open letter to the president of the Philippines. We'll be right back.